Okay, going in the room. Room 215. Guess this is where I bunk for the night. I've had worse. I put my suitcase on the table in the corner. Ring, ring. Huh? Phone. Where's the phone exactly? Is it in the bathroom? If it's the, in the bathroom, I'm, I'm gonna be like, what the f- It's coming from the bathroom, but it's not in here. That makes no freaking sense. Uh, oh, here's the phone. The phone's ringing. That's an old-fashioned phone. Hi there, good looking. Hello there, ugly pimple lady. <laughs> Glad to hear you arrived in one piece. I have no idea who she is. Hey, Rachel. Right on time, I see. Like always. Listen, do me a favor and give Ed a message. Tell him he doesn't need to have you checking up on me with every little thing. I got my instructions. I'm on top of it. You're on top of it? Really? How refreshing. Thanks for the confidence, Rachel. It's nice to be trusted. <laughs> Tell Ed that. Ed, <laughs> I said Ed. Tell Ed that, too. Well, I wouldn't dream to speak for the boss, but I trust you. Out there all alone, working hard, busting her tail to get things done. At least I think so. You think so? What the f that mean? Oh, come on, Kyle! You're not exactly an open book. That's why there are all those rumors. What rumors? Don't act like you don't know. I've heard some crazy things about you. You're an ex-cop from New York who was on the take and had to leave town, or a mystery man on the run for some uh, from some shadowy orga organization. People are saying all kinds of things, sweetie. Let him talk. Because I'm not your sweetie, I will kill you in your sleep. You want to know what I think? I think you're a handsome burnout who crawled into a bottle and never came out. I don't buy the whole man of the mystery bit. 